I received the uh, flat top uh, conveyor train today and uh, this is what it looks like. We've got uh, plastic three and a quarter inch with stainless steel pins that hold it together and uh, flat smooth surface to make it easy to rotate on hard surfaces. It's very uh, stiff, not much con uh, deflection side to side. It does have a little back con deflection as you can see here so it can curve over things and it is driven by this sprocket it's a split shaft sprocket that fits in the chain two bolts hold it together here easily take apart one inch shaft with a cutter key and then this chain fits to it on it like so as you can see here and then wraps around It's going to work nicely. You helping me out, Mocha? This is the uh, configuration that I'm thinking of that we could do with it. It's about 32 inches wide. Drive uh, uh, sprocket here, and then the idler uh, idler sprockets, and then one in the front. Um, I don't know if I want to use these large sprockets or not though. I may want to go with something smaller, say a 3 inch wheel. Um, that uh, would take the place of the spindle. So we could do two half inch wide wheels, one on the inside and one on the outside of the track. Um, and smaller might allow for more of them and then we could do maybe a true bogey design. But um, we could use these. These might be pretty noisy though with the hard plastic on hard plastic. But we'll experiment with that and see how it looks. But uh, I'm excited. I think this is going to work well. It's going to uh, be driven by a couple of large uh, BattleBot style uh, 775 series motors, so we'll have plenty of power. And uh, these are designed for high speed, so we should be able to get uh, some pretty decent uh, some velocity out of the whole system. Can't wait to get started.